Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a brand new mousetrap design that's a 3D printed high-tech solution to the number one problem many people face when using the standard snap trap, and that is mice stealing the bait. That's pretty much impossible with this new mousetrap design. It's so frustrating when you need to catch a mouse, you put peanut butter, cheese, your favorite bait on the trigger pad, set it, leave it overnight, and when you come back in the morning, the bait is gone. They stole all the bait, but didn't set off the trap even though the trigger pad seems very sensitive. Mice and rats are so cautious around traps, they'll gently lick off the bait but not trigger it. If that's happened to you, don't use the standard snap traps. Try the new mousetrap design called the Micro Trap, the ultimate microprocessor mousetrap. It says patent pending. This is only for sale in a few hardware stores, but I was able to contact the inventor and order two. The most impressive thing about this trap is it doesn't have a trigger, it has motion sensors. After it's set, the mouse will go in there to get the bait, trip the light beam, and set off the kill bar. It's a foolproof way to catch a mouse every time. Now there's a nice little lever on side, so when you want to set the trap, you lift this up, pull back the kill bar, and this has quite a bit of force. Listen to the power of the springs. That's way more than enough to crush the skull or break the neck of any mouse, resulting in a very quick clean kill. To set it, you pull this back. There's a little latch right here. On the side we have a red power button and a green light that cycles when the trap's activated and ready to catch a mouse. Inside are two sensors. When the mouse goes in there and breaks the light beam, it triggers a rod which pushes the latch and sets off the kill bar. Now over here are the electrical components, the circuits and the power source. You plug it in right there. Now there are two plug-in options. The first is a wall plug and the second is a battery pack that takes eight AA batteries. We're going to use this in the barn when there's no power source. For bait, the instructions say take a little peanut butter and put it on a sticky pad. Then put it behind the light beam in front of the spring. Then you can turn on the trap. You can see that green light cycling. The idea is a mouse will come along, want the bait, go inside. When it breaks that light beam, you got it. This trap seems like it's gonna work really well. I can't wait to test it out in the barn with real mice. We'll go ahead and set it, turn it back on, and set up the motion cameras. When the mice come along to get the peanut butter, ah, that has a lot of force. Such a powerful trap. Let's go get some mice. Last night, I set up the micro mouse trap in the barn and it worked well. We got a mouse. It wanted the bait, went in there, tripped the sensor, released the kill bar, and got caught. No stealing the bait on this one. It worked perfectly. Now one feature I really like about this trap is the lever on side. No one wants to touch a dead mouse when you catch one. All you have to do is lift this up and give it a little flip in the garbage. That sensor is such a great feature. Now I don't want the mouse we caught to go to waste. Let's go set it out in the field. Viewers really like to see footage of turkey vultures, so I'm gonna see if one mouse can bring in the turkey vultures. They have such a good sense of smell. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see if the turkey vultures come in.
Well, that was a great comparison showing the difference between wild turkeys and turkey vultures. It's funny, I've lived in this house for several years and I've never seen wild turkeys in my backyard. But a group of jakes or young males decided to stroll on by. Too bad they didn't want to eat the dead mouse. Two turkey vultures were drawn in and the first one grabbed that mouse and gobbled it down. Now overall, I'm really impressed with the micro mouse trap. Though sensors work well, you'll never have a mouse steal bait out of your trap again. People are doing incredible things with 3D printers and there's more and more high-tech electronic mouse traps available on the market. And I'm always looking for new mouse traps. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.